That is administering an alternative dewormer to sheep. As you can see, if you're not terribly experienced with the process, it can be quite messy.
about that. See, we're still friends. Everything's good. We're still friends, right? That is administering an alternative dewormer to sheep. We used a combination of garlic, molasses, and water. And as you can see, if you're not terribly experienced at the process, it can be quite messy. You get me one. Swat. Swat. Okay, mommy's turn. Really nice. Is this not enough hay until morning? Seems yeah, like a lot. Okay. That's that's fine. Okay, great. Yeah. I made them some tea. Okay, give them the rest of the hay, buddy. I've been reflecting on the three key components of maintaining livestock health, which is rotational grazing, pasture management essentially, a diatomaceous earth and the alternative uh, natural worming techniques. As you know, I gave him the free choice diatomaceous earth, so I'm clear on that. The rotational grazing, eh, I'm trying to work it in. I really need to be moving them more. I just ordered some additional fencing so I can implement a better system. Of course, we had the energizer failure. That didn't help. And then there's the natural worming technique, so I've done that now. So between that, the diatomaceous earth, and the garlic treatment, we can get these guys cleared up of their issues. I just got my new energizer from Premier One, and I gotta get this fence hot before the sun goes down, so let's get that going. Awesome. All right, I got it set up. It's the moment of truth. Oh yeah. There we go. That is what we want to see. There we go. The fence is hot. These boys are back out on pasture. And I'm done. <laughs>